break them off. For God's sake, break them off. It's really important, and I want everybody to see this and hear this. Oh! And that wire bothers my OCD, so I'm going to put another strap on it. I don't give a damn. Go this way. Alright, it's got to go in this, this direction, like right here. So let's hit the contactor. Because I'm a professional, I can use my finger. And uh, we're going to see if we are got the proper rotation, okay? What's up, guys? August the 6th, 2021. And I am on a repair call. Looking here at my trusty work phone. Uh, it says here that customer says that condenser fan is not running. Hmm. Yeah, well... Let's go see what's going on. Is it a capacitor? Is it a motor? Do it not have no refrigerant in it and the low pressure switch is keeping it from running? Is something else wrong? Who knows? But obviously the condenser fan motor is not running because that's what the actual customer said. So let's let's go see what's up guys. Alright. Okay guys, I'm over here at the heat the gas pack. And this is pretty much what it is. Let's go here to our contactor, push it in with our finger, because we know what the hell we're doing and we can do that. And, yeah. I've already checked the capacitor, so yeah, we have a bad condensing fan motor the bearing is bearing seized down inside of the fan so let's go see if we got a motor to see this and hear this. It's so important. Leave the back plug in. Take the plug here out. Just like that. So if water gets in, it has a way to drain out, okay? I've seen so many people put them in the wrong way and ruin a brand new motor. It's pitiful. But I see people do it all the time. Getting our mountain screws off. Also very important. 
break them off. For God's sake, break them off. That's another common problem I see coming behind other companies. Because then you can't get the fan blade up high enough on the shaft. And then you're not properly pulling through that shroud like you're supposed to. Too far away from the shroud. Right here. And the unit trips out on high head pressure because you ain't got the blade up high enough on the shaft. So break off them screws there. Get our 1132nd. That would be our Klein. Well, not Klein, but that's all I use is Klein, by the way. But the 1132nd would be the green one for the mountain screws. Well, we'll hook that up here on this one. Sometimes my big fingers get in the way. If y'all know the men that got the big hands like me know it's hard dealing with teeny tiny little things sometimes. Okay, one more to go. And we'll have the motor actually mounted to the grill. I should have looked at this earlier, but I was too worried about getting my damn phone camera set up for y'all, okay? So I don't want to hear no shit. Alright, so the fan blade was on like this in order, so it's got to turn that way, which would be clockwise. Okay, it's got to turn clockwise. And go to your motor and our little handy dandy speed wires are right here. Let's see what it says on the motor, shall we? Okay, where is it at? It should tell me. Okay, purple and orange. Okay, purple. Oh, purple and orange. Oh, so so for clockwise rotation, which is what we need is clockwise rotation. I just said it. Just figured it out. Clockwise rotation, we need purple and orange and yellow and brown. And obviously it don't come like that. It comes wired up for counterclockwise rotation. So we gotta swap the swap the rotation. So we're going to go purple and orange, and we'll go brown and yellow. Now we got the rotation in there properly. Let's see what it says, how we hook this thing up. All right. <laughs> wow. 
white. White is our common. Black is our high. It's just that simple. White's the common, black's the high. These uh, red wires low, we don't need that. We'll cap that off in a minute. And then our, our two brown stand for standalone seven and a half microfarad capacitor. Okay. All right, so we know what that does. Before I go any further, let's go ahead and put this blade back on. All right. You want to go far as you can go. And that's why I told y'all to break off those motor mounts on this side, or you're gonna be the fan will be hitting them. Because the shaft on this new rescue motor is a lot longer than the shaft on that OEM direct replacement motor. So that's why we do that. We'll go as far as we can go to the motor. Line it up with the flat spot on the shaft, the hub of the fan. And get your big stubby fingers with this little set screw and put it in. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Alright, I got it. Tighten it up. Go. It's on there. And before I flip this thing over, I'm gonna go ahead and put some tie straps to hold these wires up out of the way for the speed, the vert versing the uh, rotation, and for our speed and power wires. Okay. Let's go ahead and put us a few straps on here to hold, uh, so y'all can see this, these wires here, our rotation wires. I gotta put this back in and thread this in the hole in the shroud with my wires and then make it through the uh, control panel and then hook my wires back up make my connections so let's uh, oh, give it a try and seeing as how it's raining I don't know if I can necessarily get y'all a good shot because I got my umbrella up and my camera is under the umbrella so let me see if I can do something about that. Alright guys, I'm going to feed those wires on into the control panel and uh, get them hooked up. Okay guys, I finally got the power wires pulled through the cabinet here. And now all I got to do is hook them up. First thing I'm going to do is put this standalone capacitor on there. Our seven and a half. I 
some people don't like doing this but uh me personally i don't feel comfortable unless i do do this which is put some electrical tape around the capacitor All right Okay, just a little electrical tape on there. Now it's time to wire this bad boy up. Oh! So, this is the plug that the old motor was plugged onto. So, we're not going to be using the brown, just the black and the red. The black wire, if you follow it out, goes up here to the contactor. Where the, the and all. And then the red goes back down and ties into the capacitor giving it a common so red is common on this end we don't need that so red is our common and then i told y'all that white on our motor was our common so we'll do this put them together that'd be half of the circuit for the motor made up then we go to the speed the low speed wire on our fan we don't need that. We want high speed on our fan for our condensing fan motor. So we'll just cap it off like this with a wire nut. And then we'll go to the last one, which is our, our high speed for the condensing fan motor. And then we'll make the other half of this motor up. Right here. Okay. Now to tighten it up. Tidy it up a little bit. We'll put a strap on it because I like things all oh, neat. Like that. And that wire bothers my OCD, so I'm going to put another strap on it. I don't give a damn. There we go. Get rid of the little tails okay so now with that being done we're looking at firing this thing up and seeing what happens hopefully there's no other problems hey guys it could be more problems right but we got to get this condensing fan motor running before we can see let's do it Okay guys, the telltale sign, I got the power back on. We're going to check this out together. Um, and you see the way that, due to the pitch of the blades, the way it's got to go this way. All right, it's got to go in this, this direction, like right here. So let's hit the contactor. Because I'm a professional, I can use my finger... And uh, we're going to see if we've got the proper rotation, okay? Okay, let's see if we're turning in the right direction. And we are. 
we are going clockwise. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say this one's more than likely in the bag, guys. If I don't find any other issues, then I won't add any more to the video. Okay, so I'm hoping that this is the only problem with the unit. Alright guys, catch y'all next time.